this is Terry Atkinson and today I'd like to show you how I'm making my 60 degree triangles and I've got them in a row in the table runner and you'll look in the sampler quilt and they're in there too. What I like is to have floating points on the end so that it always looks really crisp and nice. So we'll cut some triangles and then we'll cut the side pieces that will go on the end. Now I've already cut my strip and I'm just going to place my ruler with the line straight at the bottom and the blunt edge is even at the top and then I'll cut. I'm using the Creative Grid 60 degree triangle ruler and it has a blunt tip which gives you room at the top so that your seam allowance is perfect. You'll have a quarter inch after these are sewn together. And as I go down the strip it just goes up, down, up, down and you'll get triangles going all the way across. Okay. Next thing we need to do is we need to have the pieces that go on the side and that is going to be a rectangle and we need to cut the edge of the rectangle with the same angle as the triangle so that they fit together perfectly. So I've already measured and cut my rectangles and I have two rectangles. Notice they're the same height as a triangle and I have them wrong sides together and by doing that I'm going to get a lefty and a righty and that's what we need, one for each side. Now we're not going to measure anything, we're just using the 60 degree triangle ruler to get the correct angle. So I'm lining up one of the black lines. The Creative Grids has white or black so that you can go with a line that contrasts with your fabric. I'm sliding it over, keeping that line even. When the edge of the ruler intersects with the corner of my rectangle, then I'm ready to cut. And now I've got my two side pieces, which can go one on each side of the triangle. Okay. When it's time to sew these together, it's interesting to me that you have a quarter inch dotted line on the ruler and that is your seam allowance. When you put the first triangle onto your side piece, the two edges are going to line up and down here it's going to cross right at a quarter inch and it's easy to see where it should cross if you just line your quarter inch up you've got your edge there and right where these cross the little valley is where your stitching is going to go so it's a good way to put your ruler on top and double check that you have your pieces aligned and they haven't stretched out of shape so after you've sewn that it presses away and then we've got the next one which this is not the right one, this one is the right one. And that will flip down. Notice how we have a little dog ear up here and that we're going to leave on because it helps us align the piece. So I'm going to line up so my little dog ear matches the edge and again I can check with my quarter inch line on the ruler and they are crossing exactly where they need to so that we get a perfect edge. 